Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to PFG. Before I actually, I'm not going to do any gaming in this video, so if that's what you're looking for, just go ahead and skip this one. I'm going to be going over my loadouts for Battle Royale, just so that you can sort of know what I'm using here. I don't have many. You know, obviously this game at this point right now can only allow you to use a couple of weapons, basically just the AK-47 to take on full squads would be the easiest way to go, obviously. Let's go ahead and start off. I got my AK-117 Medieval. So with that, I don't need an optic because of the Medieval Iron Sight, also the Year of the Rat Iron Sight. So I got the Light Compensator, which helps a lot with the vertical recoil. Marksman for the um, largest damage range. And then I got the Strike Foregrip. I was running a while, I ran the Ranger, but I just couldn't stand the ADS time being so slow. So I went back to strike and it's not really too noticeable. 48 round mag because, I don't know, this thing hit markers a ton, I guess. Um, and then the rubberized grip tape, which, um, you know, I've, I've been testing this one here. It's nice for the recoil, but the bullet spread already, it's... Like, I gotta, I usually run this thing with a purple dense fire. You know, that just makes it sort of play how it used to, like before BSA. If you did want an optic, I would go ahead and take off the grip tape, obviously, because that's not as necessary, and then you can put on an optic, you know, and I just like the iron sight a lot, so that's, that's really why I like having epic skins. I just need to find one that has a good iron sight, and then that automatically allows me to make a better setup and not have to put an optic on it. Coming up next, we got the AK-47 Steel Blue, obviously, gonna have a 47 in here. I've used this probably most so far. Ranger Barrel, because again, highest damage range. Didn't actually know that was 40, but that's sort of broken. Uh, no stock, I really like the ADS time, and it's still very controllable because these stats aren't really that bad. Tactical Laser, obviously. I like these two attachments here to sort of balance uh, the Ranger and the Ranger foregrip because these are like the slowest obviously so these two really help to balance it and then the large mag just because I don't like to run extended mods or anything again if you didn't have a good skin or a good iron sight weapon for this I would definitely recommend removing either the no stock or the laser if I was doing it I would take off the laser because the no stock really helps out with the ADS time and then I was just trying the cheek on I'm not gonna go over that because it was trash. Like back in the day I used to run this thing with a three times scope so I was trying that out and it is so bad now. Like it used to actually be good but for my Arctic 50 build, um, I've sort of been switching in between snipers at the moment. I've been using the Locust some just because that one, it has stopping power and it also has like seven, I believe, seven bullets with the stopping power on. So that's pretty nice right there to have seven since they nerfed the Arctic to have. Ever since they nerfed the stopping power the first time, I just can't run it with it anymore. Like it only has five bullets and the um, vertical recoil just went so much up. It's unbelievable this retard no so we got monolithic suppressor we don't need ads bullet spread because it's a sniper um that does increase ads time by quite a lot but i think that damage range is definitely worth it anti-material heavy this is the same one that the exotic arctic has and i just like the way that one works just feels like the exotic is a completely different gun they don't feel the same at all no optic because i like the sniper optic they have a very good optic i i only wish that you could put uh, reticles on their stock optic but that's just a complaint skeleton stock for ads time mostly and the 10 round reload i would recommend over the 12 because i don't want to add on that extra three percent of ads time so this is definitely the way to go for mods oh yeah i forgot to say for mods for the ak-47 steel blue i'll usually run a dense as well i have been known to run a stabilizer on it but i i don't like the stabilizer because it, it's only working when they're shooting at you i believe so like that's how it works it maintains and controls stability i believe i'm just trying to think off the top of my head when attacked i believe it says something like that in the game so like now, coming back to this, I would run, wait, did I go over this? Vertical recoil. My thing hardly has any recoil at all. Like, compare this to a purple one that you pick up off the ground. 
you'll notice a major difference. It feels like it almost has stopping power on it compared to this, but for a mod on this, I would always run a long shot, but since those aren't as common, stabilizer for that, because that's really nice. If someone's shooting at you with an AR and you're able to not have your optic go flying all over the place uh, just because you have that stabilizer on it. And then that would be about it, actually. I have the kit bag here. That and I was just sort of messing around trying the the iron sights. Um, yeah, I'm still looking for like two weapon slots here that can be really like you know good. I don't know, like the AK-47 right now is basically the only gun that I can use to compare against solo v squads. 117 Medieval is pretty good for solos, but it, again, like if they have an AK-47 and they're good with it you're going down. I just still like this gun, like, especially in closer range, just that faster fire rate. They should buff this gun for sure, because this has been basically my favorite gun since the beginning, and now it's super weak. M16 was doing pretty well for me. Really good gun. I might, um, play a couple games with this in the future just to show off how good it is. I believe it, like, two to three taps people it's above average you really gotta land your shots against someone with an ak-47 but it can take them out i just haven't used it recently so I'd, I'd probably be pretty bad with it but anyways that's that's it for my loadouts if you have any that you think i should try be sure to let me know and i'm not sure what i'll be doing next because there's no new challenges i'll well, I'm not doing that one because that's just stupid. And then once Legendary comes, because that'll be coming with the new season, this is going to reset. I'm going to hit Legendary again. I'm not sure if I should do like an entire grind to Legendary or if that would just be too tedious, you know. But we'll see. I mean, it, it, it gives me something to do.